we left Sir Joseph doing something that probably no First Lord of the Admiralty, not even Sir Winston Churchill, has ever done. Handing out to the crew copies of a song that he'd written himself to encourage independence of thought and action in the lower branches of the service. Well, later in the afternoon, as we come on Sir Joseph, he's listening to the goings-on below and enjoying the amateur composer's finest hour. My song. A British tar is a soaring soul, as free as a mountain bird. His energetic fist should be ready to resist a dictatorial world. His his foot should stamp and his cock should growl, his hair should twirl and his face should scowl, his eyes should flash and his breath for two, then this should be his customary attitude. His attitude, his attitude, his attitude. He is a truly great man, for he told me so himself. To me, he seems tedious, dreadful, dictatorial. Please, oh, Doctor. Hi, lady. Oh, how my heart beats. Josephine, I'm a British sailor and I love you. Sir, this audacity. Oh, my heart, my beating heart. This unwarrantable presumption on the part of a common sailor. Common, oh, the irony of the word. Sir. You forget the disparity in our ranks. Your proffered love I heartily reject. Go, sir, and learn to cast your eyes on some village maiden in your own poor rank. They should be lowered before your captain's daughter. <laughs> This overbearing, or live a life of mad despairing. My prophet love despised, rejected. No, no, it's not to be expected. Messmates, oh, hi, come here, come here. Hi, hi, my boy, what cheer, what cheer. Now tell the train without delay, what does she say? My friend, my leave of life I'm taking. Oh, my heart, my 
heart is breaking when I am gone. Oh, pretty tell the maid that as I died, I loved her well. Thank <laughs> you. 